Given all the concerns about the water and future of irrigation, especially related to southwest Georgia, southeast Alabama, and northwest Florida, the University of Georgia and Auburn University in Alabama have decided to be proactive and hire an irrigation specialist to examine their needs and future supplies. What if you had a limited water supply to assist in the production of crops? Would you know how much water you should apply and the best methods to do it with? That concern has raised a red flag for Wesley Porter. This past January, Porter joined the staff at the University of Georgia College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. He is the irrigation specialist, and he's in a unique role at the Stripling Irrigation Park between Camilla and Newton in southwest Georgia. Georgia, even though we're more progressive, we're farther ahead, we're doing a better job of being managed. You know, we've been in it for a while, and Alabama's brand new. Well, there's very little to no restrictions in Alabama, and as anybody knows, you know, there's kind of water wars going on right now. Well, in Georgia, we already have issues as well, you know, well restrictions, aquifer restrictions and stuff like that, whereas the same aquifer may cross state lines and people are still able to put in wells there. So, you know, from that standpoint, we're, even though we're more progressive at what we do, we're looking at it, you know, right down the door of, you know, stricter, you know, or tighter restrictions and all that. And so, you know, obviously I can't give a timeline. I hope it's way, way down the future, you know, and not in our time, but with our growing population, everybody's throwing the 2050 around and our, you know, our population explosion by the end. So it's obvious sometime between now and then there's going to be huge competition between, you know, water for residential use and ag water. Porter told us one of his greatest concerns is the dwindling water supply. He fears that one day farmers will be restricted by how much water they can use in maintaining their crops. Most of our research is focused on irrigation and scheduling. And whether that be from as simple as just writing down how much rainfall you get and how much water you need and just keeping up, you know, keeping up with that or as complicated as putting soil moisture sensors in the ground and following that throughout the season. And that's not complicated. I just use that as that's the more technical method. Porter said there is, however, a way to manage that finite resource by directing that water where it's absolutely necessary. I've, I've had exposure to soil moisture sensors since back around 2007. And actually, you know, that's just kind of when I stepped in the field. But that work's been done even before then. You know, a lot of people have been doing it since way before then. It's, it's good in time that we're not seeing, you know, or that we're seeing not only light adoption, but I want to see massive adoption. I want to see you know, somewhere in the 80 to 90 percent adoption of some sort of scheduling technology. You know, I don't want to see any more somebody that just has to turn the pivot on and they just leave it on the whole time or they're out there visually judging all the time, you know, when they need to turn it on or off. Let's get more scientific on it. Farmers are smart. I don't care what anybody says. You know, they manage. If you think about what they manage and what they do to make that farm happen. As irrigation specialist, Porter said he looks forward to working with one farmer at a time. But that's my goal, you know, if I get a phone call or I get a problem, I want to solve it and I want to solve it to the best of my ability and make sure whoever I'm working with at that time, whether it's the county agent here in Georgia, whether it's a combination of a county agent and producer, you know, producer, whether it's a dealer, anybody that's got a question, I want to make sure they're happy with what I've done for them when they walk off and make sure I made a positive impact.